Hello everyone, so today I'll be reviewing the 27.5 2020 Giant Rain 2. So let's jump right in. So this is of course a Giant Rain. So the Rain models a bike is Giant's take on an enduro bike and it's designed more specifically for enduro riding and hitting those larger hits and drops. So the regular retails of this bike comes in around 3,800 Australian. However, if you look, you can actually find examples for around 3,400 to 3,500. So what you get for the price is without a doubt pretty solid. The headlining features of this bike include 170mm RockShox Yari up front, as you can see just here. On the rear you get a 160mm travel RockShox Deluxe Shock, as you can see just here. And it of course includes Giant's own Maestro technology the linkage which you know you can read about it more on the website I'm not going to explain it now but um the gear set you get is a 1x12 speed 11 to 50 tooth SRAM SX drivetrain I'll explain more about how the bike rides later on in the video I'll include in the description uh, timestamps where you can look at specific uh, parts of the video so to slow you down our Shimano 4 pot M2 420 brakes they work pretty well. Front rotor, you got a 203mm rotor, pretty big. At the back, you got a 180mm rotor. So the tyres are pretty solid. You got a Maxxis Minion, front and rear, just here. They hold you to the ground pretty well, make you rail those corners. And they come already tubeless, which is pretty good. Of course, the bike comes with a dropper seat post as well. So the bike comes in a small and large. Sorry, a small, medium, large and extra large. As for the geometry of the bike, I'll post a picture of it now on screen and you can pause if you want to look at it. So here's a little video of the dropper seat post working right now. So it's kind of already up, but yeah, you just push that little lever there. Pretty easy, you know, right where you want it to be, use it with your thumb. Now, I'm one of those people that care about what the hub sounds like, so I'll just do a video of that now of what it sounds like. Yeah, sounds pretty nice, eh? So that comes to the conclusion of specs for this video. I'll now explain how the bike feels and how it rides. Followed by that, I'll uh, just do a short little, you know, edit of, you know, showing off the bike. And I'll do a little edit of me riding it as well, so you can get more of a feel, kind of, of how it rides. So after owning this bike for two weeks and taking on a few rides, I've uh, thought of some things, you know, pros and cons, just to let you guys know about them, so you have some more information on the bike. So first one, the handlebars are 800 mils wide, so this is a pro and con. 
because you know it's personal preference these are quite a wide handlebar some people might not like that but um you know it's a pretty easy fix you can always trim it down a little bit if you don't like it and yeah that's not that, that's not really a huge worry so the next one the bike comes with internal cable routing as you can see here so this is a pro and con as well pro it looks really clean and it has a really clean finish and it keeps all the cables out of the way but con for like maintenance if you need to do maintenance on your bike you have to take them out of the frame then put them in again and yeah it just takes a little bit more time but again it's not really a huge thing so handling wise this bike like it'll handle really rowdy stuff really well so I've taken it to some jumps a few times already and it handles really really well in the air like it's solid it won't lean to one side it won't do any of that weird stuff the suspensions quite good for it as well like even jumps that have quite a steep lip it's fine this much travels fine you'll be right with it so this corners really well like really well I was pretty surprised on how hard and fast I could go around some of the corners but the main reason for that is the tires the tires are very grippy you can see the knobs you know they're quite large that'll help you rail corners really really well so this bike is designed for more enduro style terrain so you know this can tackle rowdy stuff you'll be right with it you can do large drops jumps whatever you throw at it it'll do pretty much so because it has got higher travel yeah as I said it's more for enduro style so if you want to do cross country or ride up a mountain like an actual mountain you know might want to go for something else but yeah so the suspension I'll just go back to that again the con it hasn't got a proper lockout so, you know on the handlebars like some of the other mountain bikes that you see around do so if you do want to lock it out you know you just adjust that little knob there but it hasn't got an actual switch so to speak on the handlebars so overall to wrap up this bike like I said this is for more enduro style riding if you want to do harsher terrain and you want to start doing that harder stuff you know you know more like harder tech or flow or all that stuff um, this this will handle like I've been really happy with this bike I'd recommend it and because of its price point it comes around the entry level for an enduro bike but this is a solid solid choice and you know you can always upgrade components along the line if you don't want to change your bike but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah hopefully this helped you out a bit see you again next time